Hello friends, in this video we are going to make Fibonacci spiral art. All you need for this activity is a piece of graph paper, or this is just a grid that I found that I printed out on a regular piece of paper. You need some type of black marker, and then whatever you want to use uh, for coloring. You can use markers, colored pencils, Crayon. crayons, or Marker. I already said markers, or you could use paint. Now, before you make a Fibonacci spiral art, first we have to understand the Fibonacci numbers. So let's talk about Fibonacci numbers right now. The Fibonacci numbers are a sequence of numbers, which essentially is just a list of numbers found in a very specific way. The first Fibonacci number is one. After that, each Fibonacci number <coughs> is the sum of the two Fibonacci numbers that come before it. Since I don't have a Fibonacci number before the one, to find the next Fibonacci number, I would have nothing plus one. And nothing plus one is one. So the second Fibonacci number is also one. To find the third Fibonacci number, I would add one and one. What is one plus one? Two. Two. So the next Fibonacci number is two. To find the next Fibonacci number, I would add one plus two. One plus two is? Three. To find the next Fibonacci number, I would add two plus three, which is five. Then I would add three plus five, which is eight. Then I would add five 13. plus eight, which is 13. And then I would add 20. eight plus 13, 21. which is 21. Then 34. And then the next one would be 13 plus 21, which is and 34. And then 55. And we could do this forever. Okay, right here you can see the first nine Fibonacci numbers. Something you can try at home after you make your art project is see if you can name some more Fibonacci numbers. Could you name 15 Fibonacci numbers? Could I you can. name 20 Fibonacci numbers? How many Fibonacci numbers can you name? And just for fun, this is the 100th Fibonacci number. As you can see, it's a very big number. This is more than 350 quintillion the 100th Fibonacci number. Okay, now that we understand a little bit about Fibonacci numbers, it's time to make a Fibonacci spiral. So on your graph paper, what you're gonna do is pick a spot as, as close to the middle of your paper as you can, and on one of the corners, you're gonna make a dot, okay? Now, the first Fibonacci number is one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move one square to the right and make another dot. The second Fibonacci number was also one. So now we're gonna go one square up and make a third dot. For the next dot, we have one plus one. The next Fibonacci number is two. So I'm gonna go two squares to the left and make another dot. The next Fibonacci number is three. So I'm gonna go three squares down and make a dot. The next Fibonacci number is five, so I'm gonna go five squares to the right and make a dot. The next Fibonacci number is eight, so I'm gonna go eight squares up and make a dot. And we're just gonna keep going around and around using the Fibonacci numbers to make my next dot. The next Fibonacci number after eight is 13, and I'm ready to go left, so I'm gonna to go to the left, 13 squares. Next, I'm gonna go down, and the next Fibonacci number is 21, so I'm gonna go down 21 squares. That's and the next Fibonacci number is 34, so I'm gonna to move to the right, 34 squares. Yeah. And as you can see, I have run out of paper, so that is basically when you are done. Okay, so you're gonna do this as many times as you can before you run out of paper. If I go 34 squares to the right, I'm gonna be just off my paper here. And now we're going to connect the dots, making a spiral. So hopefully you remember where your first dot was. Mine was this dot here. And what we're gonna do is trace and hit each dot that we made in the order that we plotted them and try to make a nice round spiral that goes through all of your dots. And that is what we call spiral. a Fibonacci spiral. 
Okay, now you can see that we all made our Fibonacci spiral. Very good. And the last part is the fun part. You can make this into anything, anything that you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this into something. Okay, cue my horse. All right, well, I think we're done. Uh, I'll show you what I made. I made a Fibonacci squirrel. You can see he's got a delicious acorn uh, there, so he's pretty happy about that. Calvin, what did you make? Can you, can you elephant. Calvin made an elephant with kind of a cool looking trunk. Very nice. Mm. And Simon, what did you make? A super snail. Why don't you hold it where they can see it? Uh, Simon made a snail. The cool thing about Fibonacci spiral art is you can make anything you want. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll try to make some Fibonacci spiral art. Bye! Bye.